Hello everyone, so today we are going to learn about how to download a protein structure from RCSB Protein Data Bank. So you, whenever you are working with a protein complex or a protein structure and you are going to do any, this is the initial steps of bioinformatics when you are working on basically a protein structure. So first of all, what we need to do is we need to search for PDB here. Then we will click on the home page. This is the home page of RCSB Protein Data Bank. Here will, you will get the molecule of the month and its structural view of its biology and everything here. So, what is actually a protein data bank? So, protein data bank is a worldwide account of where you will get the structure of any macromolecule which may be a protein or nucleic acid. Then to search any protein, we we have to get the PDB IDs of the protein. So there are two steps for getting the PDB IDs. First of all, you can you can normally search for a protein for say hemoglobin. Hemoglobin is the iron containing protein which is present in the red blood cells. So these are the PDB IDs 3WTZ. 4YU3. So these are different type of hemoglobins, different structure of hemoglobin. So you will get this type of this type of protein PDB IDs, and you will select any protein. So you have to keep in mind some of some of the points that are like you will get the methods from which this protein structure has been predicted, and also you will get all the molecules or the ligands that is attached to it, and also we will get how much resolution it has. This protein structure have how much resolution and one more important thing is that we will we will all, always try to select a protein which is which is having high resolution that is which is less than two armstrong so it is better better for all our processes so i have selected one id that is 2d in 2 here this is the Resolution 1.25 Armstrong resolution crystal structure of human hemoglobin in deoxyphone. Okay, so this is having 1.25 Armstrong, which is a very good. You will also see if there is any mutation in the protein, or and it is predicted from extra diffraction. The R value, everything you will find here. Even if you are going for docking purposes, you will need some. If you are not doing the blind docking, you will need the binding sites. So here also you will, you have this, so see hemoglobin is, here is a homo tetramer. That means it have four similar type of chains in, the, in its structure. And also this A and C chains, if you want to see the information about A and C chains, you can go to Uniprot KB. We will discuss about it later on. In the Uniprot KB, you will find everything from its binding sites to its other, other sites along with the amino acid residues and the second method for getting this PDB ID is you can directly search for Uniprot KB here here also you get everything about every information about the protein and nucleic acid everything so here you can directly search for hemoglobin or you can also put the PDB IDs here So you will get every information about its all the chains like how many types of structure it is having what are the chains like this is the structure of hemoglobin subunit beta okay so if you search for this you will you are also getting its length 147 next one is 142 everything you search for that Sorry. here you're getting all the informations they are from its binding sites its metal binding sites, everything. Okay, let's move on to RCSB PDB and then. So, how can you download the files? You can download simply here. Here it is. Download files. Go to this and save to PDB format. The structure have been downloaded in PDB format. So, this is the tutorial, the overview of how to download a protein data bank structure. A protein structure from protein data bank.
So if you like this video, please like, subscribe and click the bell icon 